Gentleman's recognized. Speaker, my Republican colleagues insist that government should run more like a business, yet they're focused on creating divisions in the military instead of following the same practices as our best defense companies. Companies like Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Raytheon, who all have a chief diversity officer role or equivalent. We are in the middle of a recruitment crisis. Mr. Speaker, instead of championing programs that will make it more enticing for underrepresented Americans to join the service, they are instead trying to make it more difficult for our uh, military recruitment efforts to be successful. I urge my colleagues to vote no on this uh, ill-advised amendment. Let's put our service members, our national security, and the, their needs ahead of this um, amendment that does nothing but divide our country, divide our military. Let's continue to have the strength in our military, and that strength comes from the diversity of our service members. With that, I yield back.